To save your data as a JPEG, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight. Make sure you go past the graphs and go down beyond all of your problems. And then you're going to, um, you can right click and you can hit copy or you can hit control C. You know you've done copy. Control C is the best because you've got squiggles around it. Go under start, go to accessories, and you're going to open paint. Most paint programs is under programs. If you go to the accessory folder, it's typically under there. There's paint. Open up paint. In the white space, you right click or you hit, it might be a choice up here, it's edit and paste. Mine is a newer version, I can just hit paste. Then you're going to hit file, save as a JPEG. It has to be a JPEG or the file size is too large. When you save it as a JPEG, you can save this as proportional versus non-proportional. Save it to your drive, your H drive. Put it in the math folder. Hit save. And then you're going to go to school web and you're going to browse and you're going to attach it to the bottom. The second link on today's discussion is where we're going to add our file. When you get to that file, in the discussion, scroll down to where you can find it, your class period. Do not hit post, so you scroll down, and do not add a new discussion. You want to find your class period, for example, period 2 reply here. Click on that, click on reply, you go ahead and put your title in the box, or your name. Scroll down where it says browse, find your proportional versus non-proportional JPEG, click open, click post to form. When you finish, there will be your image for everybody to see your original story problem.